Okay, here's some help with uh, homework based on the Credit 2000 exam. First question is just your st standard BOD mass. So we're going to have to do the divide part first of all. So 12.5 divided by 5. Get your answer there. And then do 18 take away whatever your answer is. Question 2. Grow fraction question. Again, BOD mass says we have to do the bracket part first of all. So you're going to do one third, add one quarter. Use your kiss and smile method to get your new fraction. And then remember in mathematics that off means times. So you're going to do two sevenths times whatever this answer here is. And remember when you multiply fractions, then we just do top times top, bottom times bottom to get your answer. Cancelling where we can. Question 3 of functions. f of x is 2x minus 5x squared. Find f of negative 3. So we just simply have to put negative 3 in for x's. So we end up with 2 times negative 3 minus 5 times negative 3 squared. Now remember, it's the negative 3 that's been squared. Do not do 5 times negative 3, that's wrong. Negative 3 squared, get that answer, times it by 5, 2 times negative 3, and then do your little calculation. Question 4, first factorising, this should be fairly simple for you. Second one is not much harder. There's not an awful lot we can do with the top, it's been factorised for us. Factorise the bottom into two brackets, and you should find that the bracket on the top and one of the brackets on the bottom cancel. Question 5, an inequality. One of the first things here that's probably going to cause some people some problems is the fact you've got brackets and a negative sign here. Right? We'll just treat that like there's a 1 in front. Now if you remove the brackets, you have 2y is less than 3, negative 1 times y, negative 1 times 6. Now, we just bring the negative y over to this side, tidy it all up. You have so many y's is less than a number here, and then your final answer would be y is less than whatever. Question 6. Indices. First problem I see looking at this question is this 1 over a. Right, I need to rewrite that in some way. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do anything with the a to the power of half. I'm not going to do anything to the a. I'm going to make the 1 over a, a to the power negative 1. Then I'm going to multiply. Now remember there's a little 1 here. So that means that we do a to the power a half add 1. So that gives us our new power here. Plus a to the power and then we have a half add negative 1 to get the new power here. And once we get to that stage, we're done. Question 7. We've seen this a few times. Root 18 can be simplified to root 9 root 2. Take away root 2. Simplify the first part. Do your subtraction. Again, that's it finished. Number 8. Determine the nature of the roots. Well, first of all, you need to get this into the quadratic form. So that means bringing the 1 over to this side. So we rewrite it as 3x squared minus 4x minus 1 equals 0. Now you can identify your a, your b, and your c. And once you've identified them, plug those values into the discriminant formula, which is b squared minus 4ac. Work your way through doing all the calculations until you get to an answer. Now remember, if your answer is positive, you've got two real distinct roots. If your answer is zero, then you have a repeated root. And if your answer is negative, then you have no real roots. 
Okay. Question 9, some vectors. U plus 2V. So we're going to take the first one, negative 1, 2, 4, and we're going to add on to that 2 lots of E. So 2 lots of 0, 2 lots of negative 2, 2 lots of 1. Okay, now you can simply do that addition to get your new resulting vector. Then for the second part of the question, you've got to find the length of that resulting vector. So that means taking each of these three numbers that you found here and squaring them and then adding them together. Moving on to the calculator paper, or the calculator part. The question talks about monkeys, there's a decrease 12% for four years and the starting value was 5,000 monkeys. So, if it's a decrease, then that's, oops, let me fix that. That's 100, take away 12, that's 88%. Turn 88% into a decimal. Do your decimal to the number of years that we're doing it for, which is 4 times your starting amount, which is 5,000. And there's your answer. Question 11. Express the mass of water as a percentage of the mass of the earth. So that just means that we have the water on the top of the fraction, the earth on the bottom of the fraction, like I've set up here. And then to turn a fraction into a percentage, all we need to do is times that by 100. So this question is basically just a calculator question. 1.41 times 10 to the power 18. Now remember, when you put that in your calculator, you're going to do 1.41 and then your calculator should have a button that says EXP, or something similar to that anyway, and then the number 18. Divided by the denominator, times it by 100 to get your percentage. Question 12, find the roots of this equation to one decimal place. Very similar to question 8. Identify your A, your B, your C, and then plug them into the formula x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. Now you should be able to do that, just be careful with the negative sign there beside the, the 5. Get your two answers, remember write them out in full and then round them off to one decimal place. Question 13. Now my diagram I think has got an extra wire in it, but the question says there are five horizontal wires, so there's five wires going across the way, so that's 5L. It says there's eight vertical wires, so that means there's plus there's eight Bs, and altogether the total length of wire is 770. So there's your first equation. 5B Add L, sorry, 5L add 8B is 770. Second equation, it says that the perimeter is 260. So that means if you go round the outside, so in other words, if you go an L, a B, an L, and a B, that all together that makes 260. So 2Ls add 2Bs is equal to to 260. And that's your second equation. You should now be able to solve these simultaneously to work out what a length is equal to and what a breadth is equal to. Question 14. Now that's not the belt stop. Question 14. Triangles ABC has an area of 14, so I've drawn the triangle because it wasn't given in the, the question. Put in the sizes, AC is 7, AB is 6, area is 14, we have to calculate two possible sizes for angle BAC, so two sizes for this angle here. So it's a triangle, it's an area, so we're going to use the formula area equals a half BC sin A. Now if we put the numbers in that we know, we know the area is 14. A half, 
we know that side B over here is 7 times C over here 6 times sin A is the equation. Now can I tidy this half times 7 times 6 up? Well half times 6 is 3 half times 6 is 3 and then times 7 is 21. So yep, the answer is I can tidy that up. I can tidy it up to 21 times sin A equals 14. Now if I take the 21 over to the other side I have sine A equals 14 divided by 21. And you can use your calculator to get angle A. Remember, we need to press the inverse sine button. OK, that only gets us one angle. So how are we going to get the other angle? Because the question asks us for two. Well, we need to use our all sine tan. Oh dear, Mr. West. All sine tan cost diagram and we are looking for answers in these two boxes so how do you get the answer in the sign box you do 180 take away so whatever answer you get here from your calculator take it away from 180 and that will give you your second answer last question number 15 looks a bit complicated hopefully it's not too bad we have the lampshade, it's cut from a rectangle, as in the diagram here. We've got to find the length L, right across the top of the rectangle. Well, what do we know so far? This is the middle of a circle. We know that the circle has a radius of 25. So therefore, we know that this distance here is 25 as well. So if I could work out this little distance here, and add it to 25, so that little distance there, add to 25, that's going to give him an L. So this whole question can just simply become a little right angle triangle, where we know this is 25, we know this angle's 40, because we can get that from the, the question here, half of 80, and we're trying to work out this little distance X here. Okay, so all I've done is I've taken this triangle here outside. Now it becomes a little Sokotoa question. Name the sides opposite hypotenuse adjacent. Right, we're going to use the hypotenuse and the adjacent side, so it's going to be a cost question. So cost 40 equals x over 25. Cross multiplying gives us x equals Get your answer to that, add it on to 25, and that's your length that you need. And hopefully that helps.